Hi, welcome back. On this episode, we're gonna be making mosaic pins. And it's 2021, so I buy all my uh, supplies on the little stuff like this, usually at a hobby store, a Hobby Lobby, or uh, a model store, because they have little rods and uh, things like this. And we're gonna be using the quarter inch tubing. And again, these were five bucks for two of them, and you get, uh, you know, 720, uh, or, or, you know, pretty good, pretty good size, about a foot. I think it is a foot, anyways. And I got some mini copper ones, and um, these ones are solid. These ones are tube aluminum ones. Again, they're fairly inexpensive. And I bought this rod on a major shipment from US Knife Co. That's where I get a lot of my steel because they got good deals and uh, their shipping's fairly, you know, I think the soonest I've ever gotten is three days. The longest I ever had to wait was um, 10 days. But, you know, high to COVID, that's what we're dealing with. So, and these I picked up for less than $5 at Walmart. These are uh, <laughs> for jello shots and whatnot. They're syringes. So you're basically gonna mix up the uh, epoxy resin in here. Um, if you wanna wait some time. I like, I've seen a lot of people do it with black, but I'm just gonna do clear and fill them up. And then you draw it up with the syringe and then pour it in here. But if you need more time to deal with it, you can add the hardening later. So you can put whatever pigment, orange, black, blue. I've even seen people do an awesome like copper color to fill it with and they put a bunch of uh, uh, brass and aluminum in there so the copper fills up it looks really amazing but um yeah it's going to be a quick uh cut in the cost video so you don't have to buy them
at this point the only thing I would have done different and uh, I actually did a um, a fifth tube to where I filled the epoxy resin in there first and then added the uh, mosaic part of the extra pins and color combinations and whatnot and uh, I found that that worked a whole lot better than trying to uh, do it the way I'm showing you in the video so let's continue So here are the three that uh, I did with the process you see in the video here. Uh, they came out great, I think. Uh, you can see the uh, spaces between the uh, copper and uh, the brass tubing, the inlay. I think it looks really good. The five pin copper one looks good. The uh, solid brass with the aluminum uh, uh, stick in there looks good. Now here's the one that I was telling you I did, redid and I filled the uh, tube up with the epoxy resin before I put the rods inside of it and I wrapped it fully so it wouldn't be greasy or uh, get epoxy on it. 